Who am I? What am I? And what is it that I represent? I've learned out of all the subjects that you can take in school, the one that is most rewarding is history. You'll find that of all the problems that you're faced with today, there were people in the past that were faced with similar problems themselves. They came up with solutions to overcome those problems. They had some successes and some failures. And if you study those successes and those failures, you'll find a solution to the problems that you're faced with today. I'm a 61-year-old black man, made a lot of mistakes. But I'm hoping that through the books that I've written, that the youth will be able to read and see the mistakes that I've made and some of the successes that i made. All my life was not failure. I was captain of the football team, the basketball team, and the track team my senior year in high school. I received offers from over 300 colleges to participate in athletics such as basketball, football, and track. But the lure of the streets was just too much for me. My series of books started out when I was a child. It actually started just before I was born. During my lifetime, I was able to overcome a drug addiction and homelessness. I opened the first crack house in the city of Detroit. I came home, they didn't have a concept of crack. And it destroyed the city of Detroit. I realize now that I've been a part of the problem instead of the part of the solution all these years. These books I've written during the time that I was incarcerated and I decided that I wanted to do something to change my life. And in this process of changing my life, I can change and help others face the realities of the day and overcome the problems that they're facing. The things I overcame are in my book. I have lived and I have history that can help mold and train young men how to avoid the traps that we are faced with today. Once we realize the problem, we can have a solution. I'm telling you, my solution is right here. We need to get this message to you. We need to get this message to everybody in society so they will know exactly what it is that we're perpetrating, exactly what it is that we're creating. No longer will a child have to go into the streets out of curiosity, wondering what's going on in the streets. He can read about it in the safety of his home. You don't have to be naive about what's going on. You can read about it. It'll change your life. But in order for me to get this message out, I need your help. Well, I'm a walking history book, and I decided that it's time for me to share what it is I've learned and accomplished. I have the answer in my life. Everything that I've written is historically correct, very accurate. What I'm doing, I'm writing down my memories. Everything that I remember, how it happened, what shouldn't have happened. This is too important for me to sit back and allow something like a monetary value to prevent me from offering a solution to the community. It'll make you look at people differently. It'll open your compassion. If you understand what a person is going through, it'll be easier for you to reach out and have compassion for the individual. Most people don't even know what it's like to go through the things that I've been through. And all my experiences, I've overcome and came up with substance. Now I'm going to change my life and change your life too. But I need your help. It takes finance to uplift the nation. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to lift the nation from the ashes. Like a phoenix, so to speak. Help me. Help you. My name is Ade Kwesi Bandelli. This classical series is entitled Trying to Fly with One Wing. That's how it's been my whole life. I'm trying to change it so others won't have to fly with one wing.